everyone. So today we are celebrating Earth Day. So I'm going to show you how to make nature imprints using clay. And what you're going to need for this craft is some air dry clay. You will also need some wax paper so that the clay doesn't stick all over the place. You'll need some paint brushes and eventually the paints that you want to use when you paint from the clay. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do for this craft is go outside and try to find some leaves or flowers that have already fallen on the ground. I didn't pick any flowers off the plants because I didn't want to do that and I didn't see any on the ground so I'm just going to stick with the leaves for this project. You can also use shells if you can find any shells out there. Another thing you can do if you want to find some really unique flowers, contact your local florist and see if they have any flowers that just they were not able to use in their floral arrangements and ask them if they have any scraps and you can just pick them up at the end of the day. They might just give them to you because they can't sell them. It'd be really cool you have some really unique floral designs. So let's go ahead and get started with getting our wax paper ready. Let's go ahead and get our clay ready. Now, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need either a rolling pin or something that you can smooth out the clay. I'm actually just gonna use one of my paint bottles. If you do use a paint bottle, make sure the cap is completely shut. Just go ahead and kind of roll it out. And then I just kind of, I still lift it just to, you know, make sure it doesn't stick on anything. Okay. Take your rolling pin or whatever you're using and kind of lightly press it. Don't press too hard, but just enough that it leaves the, leave the impression. Okay. Okay, so carefully carefully pick this up so you guys can get a closer look at it so you can see the design that was left over. You want to try to find something that's going to leave a really nice impression. Now what you're going to do is you're going to let this dry. Now it might take a day or so so I recommend actually putting this in the sun and it'll dry a lot faster. All right and once it dries you can paint it. The reason why I'm not going to paint it while it's still wet is because even when you're using the paintbrush you might accidentally you know ruin some of the imprints that are on here. So it's best if you let it dry. But I actually went ahead and I did one ahead of time so I could paint it for you guys in the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the one that I did yesterday. I'll give you kind of a close up. You see, I used two different leaves here. So I'm gonna shade these so they're two different shades of green. And what you're gonna wanna do, I have these very thin paint brushes and I'm just gonna dip them in water because I want to make sure that it's really pointy. So that way I can get in to the grooves here a little bit better. So let's go ahead and paint this. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed doing this craft with me today. If you did do this craft, we would absolutely love to see the really cool designs that you came up with. And you can post them in the comments below. I hope you have a great day and happy Earth Day.